Hello guys, we are going to learn sliding window technique today. This is the extension to the two pointers technique. This approach generally helps us reduce the time complexity for brute force approaches. Using this technique, we can solve many string, substring, contiguous array problems. So let's take an example and try to understand what it is and how does it solve uh, the time complexity. Let's say there is an array and it has uh, some numbers. So the numbers are 12, 20, 34, 13, 45 and 50. Okay. This is our, let's say, given array. Okay. And we are asked to find the maximum sum possible for three consecutive elements in this array. Okay. Then clearly if we see this, this is the answer, right? 13, 45, 50, which sum is 108, right? So if we take a naive approach, what we can do? We can actually start from the uh, first element, consider this three element, take a sum, right? And then we take the next, we start from the next element, right? And then we take these three elements and then take a sum and compare them, right? So, okay, if it, is it greater? Okay, is it greater? And then we take the next three elements from here, 34 and then 45. Then we ask ourselves again, is it greater? And then finally, this last three elements and is it greater? And finally, we see that the greatest element, the greatest sum, the greatest sum is 108, which we got from this last three elements, right? So, so let's see how the code looks like. If you see there are two for loops okay and the inner for loop actually starts from ith index like i said and it considers k element right and each time it calculates the current sum after the for loop it calculates the max sum and finally it returns it okay so let me just run this and uh, yeah k is 3 so answer is 108 and if i pass k equal to 1 then I should be getting the max element. So this is 50 and for three elements, 108 is the answer, right? So we saw that in this particular example, we are actually doing the addition of k numbers n times, right? So this is why the time complexity for this one is n times k, okay? Or k times n, you can say. How can we improve it? By using a sliding window technique. So let's go back to the board again back to the board in this approach what we did we actually added this 20 and 34 again okay uh, with 30 okay and the next time we did the calculation again we added the 34 and 13 again along with 45 right and in the last one again 13 45 and 50 so clearly we are actually repeating the steps which can be avoided so let's take this example again okay where uh, in the first iteration, we added these three numbers already. And when we are going to uh, do the second iteration, right, what we can do instead of starting a for loop, what we can do actually, we can just add this element, right, plus 13. And from our sum, we can minus 12. So that is what we are going to do in the sliding window technique. So let's see how the code will look like. This is how we can write the same code with an optimized approach. We can take two pointers, of course, as I said in the very beginning that it is a extension to the two pointers approach. Here you can see there is a window end pointer and window start pointer. So window end will run from zero to the end of the array, okay? And uh, we'll keep on calculating the sum, okay? And end pointer and the start pointer, right? They contains k elements right then we are going to calculate our max sum okay and then here you see we actually excluded the first element from our window and we also updated the start pointer okay and this is how we can write this code if you see this code we have actually got rid of the for loop right so now let's just run this code and we got 108 and the time complexity is actually greatly reduced this is o of n if you look at this code closely then it is just a matter of introducing a if condition where we are looking at the window 
right where we are meeting the window okay and then whatever you know uh, max or mean or whatever you want to do you can test that here okay and after that you just update the window okay remove the start pointer element and update the start pointer okay so now uh, we actually came up with a template which can be utilized for solving such problems can we apply this particular logic to a dynamic size window so what i mean by that okay let's take an example okay let's let's do let's solve a lead code problem 209 minimum size sub -edition. given an array of positive integers nums and a positive integer target return the minimal length of a contiguous sub -array of which the sum is greater than or equal to target if there is no such sub array return 0 okay so let's see this target is 7 nums given is 2 3 1 2 4 3 so output is 2 explanation the sub array 4 3 has the minimal length under the problem constraint and for this problem target is 4 nums is 1 4 4 output is 1 right so the window size is changing you see in here window size is 2 and here window size is 1 okay so how can we solve it so i will just take the same code that we wrote okay from here i'll just copy this code okay and i'll just modify see how can we solve this okay we have to actually find the minimum window okay so minimum size of the window okay so i'll say minimum size okay and i'll say max value because we are trying to find the minimum size window start is zero current sum is zero window end again we will run from zero to length now we are actually using lot of air here so instead of changing the air to norms i will change the norms to air okay this is fine now we are actually calculating the minimum size right so we'll just uh, update the minimum size also here and we are trying to find the minimum and this should be minimum and the window length we are actually calculating the window length right so it should be um, window end minus window start right plus one okay uh, this is fine now remove this okay and we want to return the minimum size right minimum size we could have returned but um, if there is no such sub array return zero it says okay that's why we have to say equal to uh, we'll return zero when when minimum size equal to minimum size equal to max value right because if the mean size is not changed at all then we want to return 0 right else the minimum size okay else the minimum size okay so just remove this this is fine but we have not fixed the condition yet let's see the condition okay our condition is as long as the current sum is current sum is greater than equal to the target that's why we have to change this if block this is not only one time case right so so we have to keep checking the minimum as long as the current sum is greater than target right that's why we just have to change it to a while loop okay so even though we have added a while loop here the time complexity is still linear okay now let's just run the code accepted and submit this yeah cool so now you saw that the code did not change much the only thing that we worked on was this condition right so i can say that i have actually found a template so we take two pointers window end and window start window end runs from 0 till the end of the array we include the current element until the condition is met if it is a fixed size window we will use a if condition if it is a dynamic size window we will use a while loop okay 
then we will calculate the max or mean or contents it can be contents also so there are some problems in the lit code you will find like you know contents unique characters okay something like that right and finally we will remove the first element from the uh, window okay and the and then update the window by increasing the window start so this is the pattern guys this is the template you can follow okay and uh, if you follow this i am sure you can master the sliding window technique this was my goal for today's session guys and uh, i wanted to show this particular template which can be applied to solve any sliding window problem dealing with fixed size window or dynamic size window i will cover few more questions from sliding window in my next session okay till then bye take care